The ultimate fate of President Biden's economic agenda may hinge on the Hyde Amendment, a provision that's been in place for more than 40 years, banning tax dollars for being used to fund abortions in the U.S. Right now, both House and Senate versions of the reconciliation bill do not include it. Capitol Hill correspondent Eric Rosales has more. In an effort to make sure that the Hyde Amendment and other pro-life provisions are included in President Biden's reconciliation bill, House Minority Leader Kevin McCarthy held a roundtable with pro-life lawmakers and groups. They say millions of unborn lives are at stake. This is one fundamental point that America had come together on for the last 50 years, and without one debate, Democrats have decided to change it in every element of every bill, and especially in this one. Joe Biden is the abortion president. Catholic Congressman Chris Smith says now is a critical moment for Congress to stand up for the rights of the unborn. I've been in Congress 41 years. None of this is worth it. <laughs> to say that, that, oh, I might lose my election, then so be it. There's a baby's life and a mother's life hanging in the balance, and in this case, millions of them. House Progressive Caucus members like Pramila Jayapal say she won't vote for any bill that contains the Hyde Amendment and adds that the Hyde Amendment is something that the majority of the country does not support. One in four women have had an abortion and need to have reproductive care in a very, very important time when those protections are being rolled back. A recent Knights of Columbus Marist poll shows otherwise. 58% of Americans oppose taxpayer-funded abortions. Pro-lifers tell me the bill includes funding for abortions worldwide. President Biden is, has authorized the use of our tax dollars to pay for abortions in other countries. So we are taking our money and paying to kill children in developing countries. 760 million for international family planning, 70 million for the United Nations Population Fund, along with 200 million for the Gender Equity and Equality Fund. Senate Republicans tell me. The Hyde Amendment is something that the left and the Democrats and the pro-abortion lobby is consistently trying to get stripped out of legislation that comes to the Senate. And they're not doing it just on the reconciliation bill, they're doing it on all the appropriation bills, and, and which is why none of the appropriation bills are going to pass. Democrats hope to have the reconciliation bill's framework done by the end of the month. At the Capitol, Eric Rosales, EWTN News Nightly.